31, I want to introduce you to the number E. E might look like a variable because it's a letter, but it's actually a number. This is a constant in math. It's the second most popular constant we have. The most popular constant we have is pi. People know pi, we know 3.1415 and it keeps on going. On March 14th, people eat pi because March is the third month of the year and then the 14th day of that month. So people are very well versed in pi, but we're not very well versed in E. And E, it's a constant that's about 2.71828 and it keeps on repeating. And it would be fun, or maybe not so much fun, if we all took E on February 7th, but that is just not as celebrated as Pi Day. All right, so this letter, excuse, the letter E represents a number, and this is your number, and it is weird, right? It's the number one plus one over N to the N, as N increases without bound. Now you're going to study this when you get to calculus. And we're not in calculus just yet, we're in pre-calculus. So I'm gonna tell you that thing is the letter E and it is the constant 2.718282. And again, it keeps on going. And this letter E is used as a base for many real world exponential models. All right, this constant was named by the Swiss, ma Swiss, Swiss, Swiss mathematician. His name is Leonard Euler. All right, we pronounced it Euler. A lot of people think it's Euler. And the, the reason it's the letter E is because E was the first letter of his last name. So this was back in the 1700s. He first discovered this, all right? So you have Mr. Euler to thank for this number. And again, E. It looks like a variable because it's a letter, but it's really a number. So I just wanna practice for a moment how you find, or how you use E on your calculator. There are two places to find it. So I wanna show you both of those. So I'm gonna flip over to my computer and I'm gonna show you the two different ways that you can get this symbol and this number on your calculator because we're gonna calculate e to the negative 0.5 and go to five decimal places. All right, so I'm gonna flip over to my calculator and I will catch you in a bit, bye. Hey Math 31, I just wanna show you real quick where you can find your E button on your calculator. You can actually find it in two places. I'll show you the first one I don't use as often, and the second one is the one I primarily use. So if we take a look at our calculator here and you hover over that division key, if you look up, up towards the left in blue, you're going to see the letter E there. Oh, I'm on my graph screen because the last time I used this we were doing a little bit of exponential modeling. Let me go back to my home screen. Okay. So now that I'm there, I want you to take a look. You've got that E button. Because it's in blue, I have to hit the second key, and E pops up. Now I need E to be raised to the negative 0.05 power, and I'm gonna go ahead and type negative 0.05, and there we go, 0.951229. And you might be asking, did I have to put parentheses around the exponent? You didn't, and you can see over here on your paper, I didn't. So I wanted to show you both ways matter, uh, or both ways not matter, but both ways are possible. You want to start putting parentheses on your exponent when you have like a fraction or you have a binomial, something like that. All right, so like I said, that is one place you can find the E button. And that's not even the one I use the most often. The one I actually use the most often is over the LN button here. So if you look at your on button, you go two up, there's an LN key. And in blue over the LN button is E to the X. So watch what happens when I hit second in the LN button. The E comes up with the power, right, and the parentheses already. So whereas before I had to hit the power button and the left parentheses and then type in negative 0.05 and close the parentheses, here it does some of my work for me. And then all I gotta do is close my parentheses and hit enter, and I'm good to go. So you've got a couple of options for how you hit your E button. And, and we'll be using that a bunch of times in here. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hey Math 31, we're back. I just want to finish this problem off. So I'm going to head over to my calculator. I'm going to do the E to the X button. I, I usually do that one because E's come with powers on them most of the time. I'm going to plug in negative 0.05 and then I've got to go to five decimal places. So I've got to go one, two, three, four, five. And then I look at this decimal or the, the next digit over and that's a nine. So that tells me to actually round this two up. So my answer here 
is going to be e to the negative 0.05 is 0 0.95 one, two, three. All right, and so I've calculated that number to five decimal places. All right, so with that, we're gonna move on to example 12, and we're gonna compound interest continuously. I'll see you in a bit, bye.